I am the Vice President of Business Development at Blind Squirrel. My job is to help bring smiles to players and people's faces. I got really excited when we got a chance to be introduced to the Sony Zine team uh, in order to get the Macopi Pro into our game Cosmorant. I've been animating in the video game industry for 25 years now, and currently we've been working on a game called the Cosmorant, which is a really fun four-person shooter. Really fun little characters, a lot of great humor involved in it. A lot of the animations and the vignettes and the really the story lacked a specific personality and trying to get the humor down is hard when you don't have these kind of bespoke animations. Cosmorons is a lot of fun to play. The behavior between the drudges is unique comedy. In order to create that sense of uniqueness and quality we really had to give the the overarching look of the game a nice original feel. And so using the Macopi allowed us to bring that out and it made for a very funny game. There was a lot more humor and it was just personalized the experience a lot more. When the team got together and we all put on the suit, we really came up with a lot of neat ideas. It was almost like brainstorming through physical action, if that makes sense. With this opportunity to incorporate Macopi Pro into Cosmorons. I've seen Jim and James and the team get excited about the potential quicker pipeline that Macopi allows. Once you get the software set up and someone actually puts on all the sensors on their body, you can get right to work. It's really just a matter of hitting record and directing the person. I was able to stream directly into Maya and iterate on that stuff inside of Maya and clean up any data that I had to clean up and then export that to the Unreal Engine and we were able to see the results right away. I know as the head of the art department have really found it useful to be able to experiment without having to burden my team. With my current pipeline before using the Macopi Pro, there was a lot of stages involved with 12 sensors and the accuracy. I can pop it on, I can get something, I can throw it in front of the people that are making the decisions of whether this works or not. The Macopi Pro, having the additional six sensors for a total of 12, really has seemed to make the hand accuracy a lot better. The magnetized clamp that you attach them to is, is really intuitive. It makes sure that you don't accidentally set something up incorrectly. The main characters, the drudges, they, they don't speak at all. And so when we try to get across that humor, it's all done with body language and action and reaction. We mainly use uh, hand key animation which is more time consuming but gives a different stylistic feel to the end. So there's been a, a mountain of animation work that we've had to get through. When we started using the Macopi Pro, we could iterate on things and test things out a lot sooner and a lot quicker. With the Macopi Pro, we were finally able to create the very personalized animations that we wanted to. And it totally benefited everything because it just, the humor really shines with it. And we wouldn't have been able to get that without using the Macopi.